Good morning. Welcome to Eclipse Day. I have like little stuff on the table. Okay. Welcome to Eclipse Day, July 27th. Two of Cups. Hi. Um, I don't even know what to say. Let's do the reading and then we'll say. And then we'll say. Feel very strongly in my lighthouse power today, which is a damn good thing. So, um, there's just something about peace. That's the message of today, something about peace. It's just searching for peace, just wanting to find peace. Um, Divine Feminine, I know you know this. Um, this has been a very difficult time. Let's see what's going on. So announcements, um, private readings are going to start again in September. I'll open up the booking book uh, later, in, uh, later in August, but no private readings for August. So we're just trying to clear up the calendar. Everybody who has booked already, we're trying to get everybody um, done. Um, let's see. I'm uh, going to put up the information about the courses, the tarot courses that are happening September, October, November, December. So September's a beginner's course. It, the course builds on a, each, you know, uh, beginner's course, um, intermediate, advanced, and then in December we throw away the book and we do intuitive. So this is, um, I would prefer, I don't think I'm going to accept anyone into the advanced or the, uh, well, the advanced or the um, intuitive unless you really have a very long history of reading tarot yourself or unless you've done one of the classes okay so I'm going to be adjudicating that the the final course because that's going to be the most intense it's going to be Monday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern time and don't fret because everything's recorded and I'm going to send them to you um, I'm I already have received a ton of interest so this is going to be rather like a college pit class where I'm teaching a class um, questions? Absolutely, absolutely. Send questions. Um, please try to make them bigger picture questions, not um, what does the Five of Cups mean, right? Like that's that stuff I'm not going to answer because that's stuff that you can find. The Google machine will tell you that. But um, when we're talking about linking and storytelling, we're talking about you know it, the intuitive piece especially. This is going to be about opening up your own intuition. And going with your gut and so so many of the questions I see on the on the YouTube um, are really about like is this for me or is this for them especially when we're talking about divine feminine divine masculine um, you are part of the same soul you're the each other's half so I'm not surprised there's some confusion um, twins are rare okay I don't want to be like in the business of saying you're a twin you're not a twin because people can access the twin template. So that's where the lines are kind of blurred right now. But uh, twins are rare, super rare. So if you're like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna not go with this twin, I'm gonna find another twin, it doesn't work like that. There is no other twin. <laughs> there is no other twin. There's your twin or there's not your twin. That's why all that stuff about like fake twins and everything, they're either soulmates, karmic soulmates, or twin. If you're a twin, there's a twin, right? Um, plenty of soulmates out there who make great life partners. Twins aren't always life partners, right? There's a whole bunch of stuff that um, needs to happen here. But back to the tarot class. We'll be booking that. Um, we'll be booking that in August. So look out for. I'm gonna do a special video of how to sign up and blah blah blah. Okay. All right. Thanks everybody for being here on the channel. Thanks to the Empress Club. I'm putting these videos on the regular channel for a little while through this eclipse season. I feel it's important. Okay. All right, enough talking. <laughs> enough talking. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Boy, feeling that really strongly. Both masculine and feminine feeling that really strongly. So for those of you who haven't seen a reading like this before, three for the Divine Feminine, three for the Divine Masculine, three for the relationship. And then we look at blocks and actions you can take and messages to the Divine Feminine from the Divine Masculine. Also how this is going to unfold. The, the reading can be 
in part or wholly spiritual, in part or wholly, you know, um, in the 3D kind of thing. So as we go, I'll try to point out what feels more like a spiritual thing and what feels more like a matrix thing, <laughs> right? Because um, souls are connected to each other, especially divine feminine and divine masculine. The divine doesn't really know about earth-based contracts. Not to say that anything should be disrupted, not to say that anything should be, um, it's not on your journey, divine feminine, divine masculine, to cause pain. Just keep that, just put a pin in that. It's not in your journey to cause pain. So the divine doesn't know from earth-based contracts and things like that, and work and love and marriage and all that stuff. Don't really get that. That's not really the that's not really the issue here. Okay? That's merely stuff that we've created for ourselves, structures we've created for ourselves. Okay? But at the same time, there is integrity. There is um, soul to soul connection. There, right? So there's this all these um, the way a soul progresses, the learning of the soul lesson. Right? All of those things, these, these lessons come into your life for particular reasons, so you can progress spiritually. That's really what this is about. This isn't so much about a, being a couple and, and getting married and having a dog and two kids and you know, all that stuff, although that does happen, and it can happen. It doesn't happen all the time, and it's not, it doesn't have to happen, okay? So just, you know, I think people are getting confused when we talk. Sometimes... If I say third party, sometimes that can be work. Somebody's married to their work, right? Third parties can be alcohol addiction. Third parties can be a lot of things. So let's not just jump always to the conclusion that people are trying to break up other people's marriages because that is not the goal here. That is not the journey. That is not at all what is supposed to be happening. Certainly Divine Feminine, you guys are leading this. So you, need, you know that, right? The Empress Club, you guys know this. This is not about that. It's about spiritual progression, learning your lessons. What are the lessons? Learn the lessons, right? And you don't have to come again. Twins are progressed souls. These are graduate souls in the parlance of Mel Bland, who I greatly respect. He's, he's, a, he's like 74 years old. He's, he's with his twin for 20 years and um, somebody I um, have watched for a while. He does talk about, you know, twin flames are graduate souls. They didn't have to come back, but they did to help to help raise the vibration of love on this planet. So hurting other people is antithetical to raising the vibration. Do you see me? Do you get me here? Yeah. Oh dear. Look at you, divine feminine. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Um. Wow. All right, so something, something, um, something has happened. <laughs> this is for the 27th, okay? So we all know about the eclipse situation. And for the Divine Feminine, this is going to be particularly difficult. Uh, divine Masculine, too. Neither one of you is, gonna, is getting away with anything here, okay? I mean, you know you're mirroring each other, right? So if your Divine Masculine is going through a difficult situation, likely you are, too in some important way. So if they're having trouble with a karmic relationship, you might be having trouble with work, or you might be having trouble with abundance, you might be having trouble with something else in your life. Right, you're definitely feeling endings, you're definitely feeling. So, <clears throat> this feels more like the ending of the karmic situation to me, which is great from the Divine Masculine's point of view. The feminine doesn't really know, you know, but you're not getting any confirmation on the earth plane, right, in this timeline, in 3D. You're not getting any confirmation that this ending has happened. This ending can be a spiritual ending for them, too. That they, it's just in their consciousness because, okay, well, let's start, okay? So Ten of Wands, a burden. Burden is being released by both of you. I see a lot of tens here. Three tens in this small part of the reading, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, okay? So I don't know that there's a lot of action, but there's definitely a lot of like purging, clearing out of energies, 
Um, I like that you are in your high priestess mode here, okay? So, um, Nine of Wands, Five of Cups. I feel like you're feeling a loss here. Nine of Wands, Five of Cups. You've done the work. You've done all the work. You felt like you've been doing all the work here. And you're feeling a loss like maybe it's never going to happen. It's not coming to fruition. It's not going to work. Okay, and <clears throat> the Divine Masculine is also feeling an ending here. We'll, we'll get some clarity around what that is. But the sun is shining through for them. And this makes me feel like they're ending a karmic cycle. Ten, right, Ten of Swords. The sun is coming up in that Ten card to the sun here. I just think you don't know it yet, but you do know it. Somewhere in your spiritualness here, High Priestess, you do know it. You might be feeling a loss right now. There might be a short-term loss here. But this ending that they have done is healing. So if you guys have gone through uh, like a bit of an ending yourself, like there's been a closing up of energy, there's been a, a karmic cycle between the two of you could have ended, right? And for you, that feels like a loss. For them, it's freeing because part of what the Divine Masculine is seeking is freedom and so you got to put a pin in that one too because when the divine masculine does finally come around come to you just know that freedom is one of the things that is going to be necessary right so bogging it all down with heavy you know obligations and restrictions and hemming them in and everything is not going to work okay the more you can be secure in allowing your masculine to do what they need to do through any situation, through the karmic situation, through the um, through just how they're working through this. They need to go through this too. Can't short circuit it for them. Even though like you're consciously aware, they're consciously aware too because these are thoughts. So the ending here feels to me like an ending of an unconscious cycle and now we're moving into something more that's in the light of day, right? Conscious cycle. They're done with being unconscious. And now this meditation is very healing. The sun and the four swords are very healing here. You are very healing for them. You know that. You know that. So, Queen of Wands, Passion, Ten of Pentacles, um, Groundedness. This feels like the Divine Feminine here feeling grounded in your own security. I don't get any, I get sadness. I get, I don't know, regret. If regret isn't, I don't think you've done anything to regret. But I get the feeling of like, you might think it's over. You might think it's over. And so you have set about, and this is not just, this has been going on for a while here, you um, have set about the course of building your, what's the word here, stability. And so has the masculine. You both have gone about what is stable. It's sort of like they're transforming it through an idea of what they thought was stable. You know, it's like, um, I recall having worked in the news business for 15 years and then corporate America. I recall a very strong awareness in uh, 2008 when the world was collapsing, right? Everything's going off the cliff. And I got laid off, right, from a, from a senior level position at a big ad agency. And I recall thinking to myself, I am never going back to corporate America again. It's the most unsafe place you can be putting all your eggs in one basket, and then one day, they could just stop it. You're putting, really what you're doing is you're putting the control in someone else's hands. And this is my personal philosophy on corporate America. I feel like it's the most unsafe place to be because you're not really, first of all, many times you're not really using your true gifts not really doing what you've came here, what you've come here to do, especially if you're watching this video, 
and you're a divine feminine, divine masculine, you really have other missions. And so how do we navigate out of what we think was safe, right? A traditional marriage or a traditional life, right? We're moving away from those traditional in, uh, structures, institutions to something new that allows for freedom, that allows for abundance, that allows for creativity, that allows for you to use your skill set. That's where we're going, okay? So what does that mean? And there is a little bit to a swords here about being in a place of making decisions right now and not really wanting other people to give you input. Neither one of you, okay? Neither one of you. I sense a very quiet aloneness here. Um, there is a... I'm building my own stability. I know what that means. Stability to your Divine Masculine can be different than stability to you, Divine Feminine. But there is an ending of a cycle here, a closing up of energy. Very much so. Overarching energy of this reading. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Okay. King of Swords. I like that. That's super clear. Aquarian energy, very clear. So if what has been happening it has been really difficult for both of you, it looks really difficult for both of you. I like the sun here. I like the sun here. Yeah. Um, we're ending the situation. If this was like a third party situation to whatever other party there was, remember I could I say about addictions, I say about work, there could be a karmic partner, whatever it is, okay? There's a new day, a new day is dawning. Clear, right? Not so much wound up in the old way of thinking about relationships, not so much wound up in the old way of thinking about what does this have to look like? It's really all heart chakra, green, the energy of green. It's all that heart chakra energy. Um, Two of Swords not letting your family or friends or anybody really in right now. Yeah, death to that. Death to anything that is too restrictive, okay? Too restrictive. You're no longer doing that. You're following your passions here. Wow, this is a big, this is big. We knew it, right? You guys knew it. I knew it. The eclipse is going to be major. It's just going to clear out, and it's sometimes it's going to clear out stuff that's going to feel like a loss. All right? This is the block. You both are block to love, be together. That's you, Divine Feminine, in that strength card, and that's them, Hermit. And we know what we've been talking about for a long time is no talkie, High Priestess no talkie, right there. Um, but it's a productive no talkie. Right? They're going inside, Divine Masculine's going inside, seeing what they really truly want in their life, recognizing their feelings finally, getting out of their head so much, more into their heart and joy and what do they want. Um, High Priestess here, you've decided even though you're going through this thing, you're not blaming them, you're not whatever for the thing that's closing up, you feel a lot of sadness around it, but you know. I like when I get the High Priestess as an answer to, when is this going to happen? You know, right? You know. This is about opening up your own intuition. And I like that it's next to this Hermit and then you again here as the Strength card. Strength overcomes everything. Just being really solid in yourself, in your own abundance, in your own stability. I don't need his, her... Right? I don't need the Divine Masculine to make me feel okay. I'm okay in my own right. Actions to take here. These cards are super sticky. Um, <laughs> actions to take. Right? The world, it's closing up. The cycle's closing up. And now a cycle of love can begin. King of Cups. There's something here about Ace of Cups, King of Cups, Ace to the King. There's something here about when this cycle closes up, 
what you thought was the pathway closes up, a new one is opening. And it's much better than the one that closed up. The one that closed up was about healing, was about old stuff, old wounds, old, you know, hurts, whatever. That is being healed in this closing up. One side closes, another side opens here. When God closes a door somewhere, he opens a window. All right, Divine Masculine, please enlighten us. Please enlighten us. What do you have to say to the Divine Feminine right now? Wheel. They feel a change. They feel it. They feel it moving forward. They feel the healing energy here. They feel the closing up. Wow, really moving forward here. Justice. Um, taking care of anything on this plane. This is uh, karmic justice. This is legal justice. This is um, anything that had made them feel uh, betrayed, any kind of old betrayal, we're moving forward into a time of completion of those old hurts, wounds. Yes, making a choice. Wow. They're going away from the thing that hurt them. Love doesn't hurt, right, Oprah? Love doesn't hurt. They have been in a situation where love has hurt. And they see what the love with the Divine Feminine is. They see that. They know it now. It's like they're letting it in. It's hard to really block out the sun. I know the clouds are doing a really good job this week, but it's hard to block out the sun. Uh, but they're balancing themselves here. Libra energy, Gemini energy, lots of air here. This is, this is like coming into awareness. They felt this all along, but coming into the awareness of now decisions that need to be made, choices that need to be made, moving forward into them. What else do you want the Divine Feminine to know? Chariot. Wow. Moving forward. They're going to move forward here toward love, toward what they want. Right? Ace of Because you... There's something here about calm. Divine Feminine, if you have been calm, you can keep your head while all about you are losing theirs. Right? Rudyard Kipling. I knew there was a reason for those freshman English classes. Oh, full disclosure, journalism degree. So there's always a reason for freshman English. Um, this is about keeping your head. Despite the fact that you feel this pain or this sadness or the closing up, keep your head. Just be at peace. Do nothing all right just be calm be the lighthouse in the storm again this is the message over and over again okay over and over again let's see how it unfolds here six of cups soulmate connection the six of cups is about making an offer so that King of Cups with the Six of Cups, I feel like Divine Masculine is coming to the awareness of making an offer, if not the actual offer. That Chariot could be like, let me take you away for a little bit. Wanna, you want to, right? There's like a, it could be a spiritual take you away kind of thing. You could feel a lot of connection with them. You could feel like amazing, the lover's card. You could feel that Kundalini energy rising. You can feel all this stuff. <clears throat> if this is in the 3D, actually asking you to go on a date or go on a trip or something like that. Three of Pentacles. <clears throat> Let's work together. Let's work together. Let's build our foundation here. How do we do that? How does this work? How do you think this is going to work? Right? Really being, get to the nuts and bolts of things. Ace of Swords. The truth. <clears throat> Um, Divine Feminine, if you have been waiting for the truth, that's why I like this King of Swords. King of Swords tells the truth. It's a little bit rough. A little bit rough, a little bit hurtful sometimes. Uh, but this truth needed to come out. 
I got Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords here. The truth that needs to come out. I love you. Wow. Speechless. That doesn't happen very often. Speechless. Oh my goodness, my ears are burning. Okay, um, and patience. Seriously. What? Harvest. Harvest. Seven of Wands. Spiritual. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Resisting Harvest. Tower. So if this has been a situation, the love comes out. This Divine Masculine could run away a little bit again. But then I sense he comes back with a vengeance. Okay? So you, you've you experienced this running away, coming back, running away, coming back, running away, coming back. Right? You've experienced that. Um, but now, you know the whole runner-chaser mythology, which is actually true. It's not mythology. Um, ethos. Uh, is um, It only works when you both are doing it. Runner, chaser, runner, chaser, chaser, runner, chaser, runner, right? It only works when you both are doing it. To get, you got to get out of that cycle. And I, for some of you, that's what's ending here is this runner, chaser thing, okay? Um, because now you're solid. That high priestess sits still in the knowing. That's what the high priestess is all about. She sits still in the knowing. Queen of Wands here, passionate. Venus, Empress down here, strength card. I like all these feminine cards here are very strong, calm, peaceful. It's not necessarily even about doing your work. It's about allowing the thing to close up that needs to close up. Just allow it to happen. Allow the death to just come through. Allow it to happen. Okay? No fear. No fear, no favor. Okay? Allow it to move forward. Create more strength in you. Because what you know here is you know the masculine is connected now to his higher self in a more conscious way. They're always connected, but now in a more conscious way. They've actually actively searched for information or knowledge, you know, because we've been, Divine Feminines have been, I mean, as evidenced by this channel, <laughs> Divine Feminines, we have been looking for answers for a long time. Um, this truth, this truth of I love you might scare them a little bit, how big it is. They know that they love you, okay? It's big. This is, you know, the energy is big, right? The Empress is big. So allowing that, allowing them to do their thing, allowing them to Run away, come back, run away, come back. This Three of Cups feels like um, a celebration. And then with a vengeance, they come back. With a vengeance. We got one more here. That's blown up. That's what's blowing up. This annoying cycle of I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to do. Because you know what? Now they do. Now they know what to do. So we've been in this cycle. That's one of the things that's closing up. We've been in this cycle of the masculine not being as conscious, not really knowing what to do, not wanting to leave things behind, not wanting to hurt people, whatever. Something happens here. Ten of Swords. Five of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Four. There could be a karm there they could have a, had a big fight with a karmic situation, a big a big uh, a situation at work, a situation with their addiction, whatever the third party is, okay, remember we're talking bigger picture here. Whatever that whatever the thing is that is needs to be cleared, um, that's what that is. They're clearing it. They're they're facing it, they're doing the work, and there's a celebration, right? Celebration here. They're facing it. So the death can roll through. They're not resisting the death anymore. Because they're not afraid. It, it's like nothing can have hold over you 
unless you allow it to. And they're, they're allowing it to clear. So let's see here. Um, messages to you here from the universe, uh, Divine Feminine, guidance to you. Religious factors. Has there been, is there some kind of thing, philosophical difference that has been holding them? A philosophy or a belief system um, that has been holding them in place? That is going to end. This death card is going to roll through for them. You. You. Love yourself first. That's a lesson for them. Playfulness. That's a lesson for you. <laughs> Playfulness. Be calm. Be peaceful. Don't lash out. Don't, don't. I'm gonna unfriend him on Facebook. Don't, just don't, okay? Don't. It's worth waiting for. So the lesson to you, Divine Feminine, is to feel retreat, right? Retreat, going on a retreat. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Feel the loss. Let it roll by you. Know that it's closing up one section. This section of this journey has to end. It's this stupid crap. It's this two of pentacles. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? That is ending. Okay? That's ending. The, the thing, they're coming into conscious awareness of the thing that's blocking them. Let it happen. Don't try to, because when you try to gain power, right, when you feel powerless in a situation, when you feel like someone's slipping away, or when you feel like, have you done everything? Yes. Divine Feminine? Yes, you have. You have done everything you need to do here. Be at peace. Be in your High Priestess. Right? Pray. That's what you can do. Pray. Pray, manifest, feel into what you want, and then let it go. Feel into what it feels like to be with your twin on a daily basis, to sleep with him every night, to be living in a situation where he's around you every day. Feel into that and then let it go to the universe. At some point, you got to say, you know what, God? It's up to you. I trust whatever you want because we're, we've already put in our order. We're telling you that we want the twin to come to us. Let it happen. Because it's not going to happen if you're holding on to an old situation that probably wasn't that good anyway. Nine of Wands, if you're holding on to some like breadcrumbing crap or whatever, just let that go. Let it go. Let it go. All right, guys. Brace yourself. I, for one, am not leaving the house for a couple of days. <laughs> Maybe just to go to the grocery store. Okay. All right, guys. I will see you tomorrow.